Hi, I'm attorney Cesar Gavidia. I'm here with my colleague Rachel Alters, and we're going to talk to you today about the Hartford and the independent medical examination process. Rachel, what are a few things that a claimant or insured sure should be aware of when uh, they've been contacted by the Hartford and they want to schedule them for an independent medical exam? Well, I, I've actually had this come up several times over the past couple weeks, Cesar. And it, there's a lot of claimants who have been paid for Hartford, whether it's been a year or for 10 years, who they've been asked to undergo an independent medical examination by the Hartford's doctor that they chose. And I've often got calls saying, well, do I need representation? Do I need a lawyer at this point? I'm really nervous. What's going to happen? And what I usually recommend is, yes, you should have representation because you want to make sure that the doctor that's doing your medical examination is completely prepared meaning that he has all of your medical records, knows your medical history, what's going on with you, and most of the time Hartford's not going to send the records to them, so that's something your attorney can do for you. Right, without the records, without understanding um, all the visits that you've gone to, the frequency of those visits, the medications, what is that independent medical examiner really going to investigate? What is he really going to examine if he doesn't have the foundation and the basis for the entire medical issue that's preventing you from working? Exactly. Um, how about like scans, diagnostics, those are really important too, right? X-rays, MRIs, um, those are things that that doctor should have as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So um, once they have the records, once, they've, uh, once you have ensured that the independent medical examiner has all your records, what is something else that, that you as a claimant, as an insured, facing an independent medical examination with the Hartford, what, what should you try to you know, bring in with you or should you have a third party present there with you, a videographer or something like that to record the examination? That's a really good question because oftentimes I have, you know, cl clients will call me, potentials will call me and say, well, I'm going into this doctor, I don't know this doctor, how do I know that he's going to take my information down accurately? How do I know that when I leave that exam, the report that he's going to write is going to be accurate? And I, I always recommend that you have a videographer present or a third party present so that we have a witness to exactly what went on during the examination. And oftentimes, if you don't have an attorney, um, Hartford won't allow a videographer to be present. And when an attorney's involved, they're more likely to allow this to occur. Right. Yeah. Um, and just to be clear, we're not saying that um, the insured should allow the Hartford to videotape the examination. No. This is an independent videographer that the insured would use to record the, the examination to ensure the integrity of it, that what that doctor is reporting is accurate, right? That right. all the tests or um, you know, exercises or whatever it is that he does during the course of that examination, right, is accurate, that in, he in fact did all those things, and that the insured presented themselves that day as the independent medical examiner is um, indicating in his report, right? Absolutely, and, and oftentimes the Hartford will say, no, I don't want a videographer there, we want this to, you know, because they don't want proof or evidence of what went on in that exam room, but, you know, the Hartford, most likely will be following the claimant with, with surveillance um, the day before the exam, the day of the exam, and you know for maybe a week or so after the exam to see what that claimant's been doing. So okay. the Hartford thinks that it's okay for them to hire their videographer, but it may you know they're going to give a hard time to the, the claimant for bringing in their own, which right. is ironic. That's a good point. That you know oftentimes we see you know when we've ordered the claim file after the the claimant has had their their benefits stopped. Uh, following an independent medical exam, we see that there's been video surveillance conducted and that's oftentimes so, at some point very close to when that examination is going to occur, right? Yep. I think what they're ex often e probably expecting is that um, the claimant may show up that day exaggerating the way that they, they feel or their symptoms, right, for the purposes uh, of that examination. And I guess the video surveillance they expect to show that listen, the person isn't as bad right. as they're claimed to be during the day of that examination. Right, so. and oftentimes what happens is the claimant will go into an independent medical examination and you know, maybe use a cane or a walker to walk into the exam, and then when they leave not realizing no one's not watching them, they don't use that cane, or they go to the mall afterwards for three, mm -hmm. four hours and they're shopping, and this gets caught on video, and this is what the Hartford uses to deny their claim. Yeah, talking about what should be done or what you know the claimant should do after an examination, do you think it's important perhaps to schedule a visit with their own doctor immediately before or after the examination? Yep, I think that would be a great idea. Well, why do you think that that's that's Part of, kind of critical to the the independent medical examination process if they're undergoing that. Do you think it's maybe because you know this doctor that they're going to see um, 
may not be reporting things accurately. So at least perhaps being with their own doctor, going to see their own doctor, they're going to hopefully, presumably, report things as as the, the claimant you know, actually presented, right? Yes. So um, if you have an issue with the Hartford and you've been asked to uh, present yourself to an independent medical examination, give us a call. As you know, as you can hear uh, what we've talked about today, um, this process could lead to perhaps an interruption in your long-term disability benefits, and we'd be happy to speak to you about the process. We'd be happy to talk to you about what to expect during the independent medical examination. Um, and if you have any other questions, we'd be happy to answer them.